The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady are going to Super Bowl 55. I got to say it. I got to say it. I'm going to finally say it. I got to swallow my pride. I want to say it. Tom Brady is the GOAT. I would never say that out loud. I mean, he has earned his championships. He had a hell of a run in New England. And when Belichick, I mean, they were a dynasty, right? But the fact he left there and went to Tampa, which I that that whole move in itself still I'm like, what? I never would have thought I saw him in Tampa Bay. He goes down there, has a very rough start, and by the end of the year, he's back in the big game. I mean, come on. You can't even, I don't even know if goat is the right word. If you crack this skull open, a little green alien would pop out. It wouldn't surprise me because he has accomplished so much that the distance between him and other athletes are just, I mean, the only person that can really argue with him is Michael Jordan about championships. And, you know, you're talking about this whole one man can't make a big difference, but he has proven that it can. And especially in football, because it's such a team sport. It's such a team sport. But the man threw three interceptions and still was able to hold off to win the game. How do you do that? You you can't even explain it. And for not only that, now Tampa is hosting their own Super Bowl. I mean, of course it would go that way, right? Of course it will. Jeez Louise. Got to give it to them. Got to give it to them. All right, so uh, since the last time you really see me, trying to be a little organized with my content here. Um, 2020 didn't go as planned. Obviously, don't have to explain it to you, right? So in December, I finally made the choice to try to go full-time with my art. That means murals, props, um, anything creative, try to go full force. So obviously, murals and stuff like that will get you into people's houses, on businesses, on walls, and that's a good way to start pushing your business so I decided to go uh start push it full time um we are now in what is 25th of January I've got two two jobs this month um they went pretty good pretty good um I can't complain I was able to start a website I got that up and running um not a whole lot there but it's enough to kind of get the contact information uh, I've spent the last two weeks trying to update social platforms, um, find out how listings, how I can get my name to show up on Google searches. So trying to get that business aspect, trying to get it off the ground. Um, one of the things I want to try to help people do is design their game rooms, you know, like their media rooms, kind of theme it out. Um, maybe help out uh, future gamers or streamers, people who stream on YouTube and Twitch, maybe help design a background or something for them. Um, I, I, I love that kind of aspect of it. So part of me, that's what I want to do. And I don't know why I haven't thought of it sooner, but I have a game room here. It's our little space in my house that uh come up the stairs you know it's like its own little nook corner i said you know what to show people what i can do i'm going to want to redo our game room and i've been wanting to do this for the longest time and uh so i started this past weekend uh got in there moved the couch um took a couple minutes to uh, run the lows, get a couple paints that I want, um, 
pick up some tape, some plastic, you know, the normal run. And I'm going to start documenting um, this setup of what I'm going to do. But overall, uh, I, I kind of want to tease it and show this beforehand and talk about the challenges about doing something like this. Because in my particular game room, the game room, it, it it's in a perfect situation when you come up the stairs of my house and turn you have the game room there's a door to my studio and then you turn and then there's like the walk with the balcony and all the kids bedroom um what's challenging about this space is nothing is centered when you come up there's a little indention in the wall and it's off centered the the biggest wall is on one side because you got the walk around to the balcony then you have the right side that has the wall where um it's the doors to my studio and the only thing centered is the window on the outside wall of the house so the space is a it's a little weird to try to have the perfect like setup design but i think i came up with something that I'm going to uh, really have some fun with. Um, I'm excited. Um, right now it is a mess. But I want to try to try to give a before and after. And, and put this vision in people's heads of. You know if you have a space in your house. That you want to redecorate. Or a man cave or a media room. You know and you want to do something fun. It's more than just painting a wall. You can make props. You can design different themes. And um, so on my big wall, what I believe I want to do is I'm going to do these silhouettes of gaming characters. Put me a, uh, put the, mount the TV to the wall. Uh, I, I believe I'm going to cut out some foam on top that says game room. I'm going to put some RPG lights. I'm going to get a new bookcase. And uh, I'm going to have some real fun. So I'm going to start showing that uh, very soon. Po possibly this week. Little tidbits. And um, drawing a blank. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so uh, rewind, right? So I'm going to start sharing that. Also, I'm going to start sharing two jobs I did this month. Um, they went very well. I'm very very happy and pleased with the interaction with the customer the client uh there was things that they wanted i tried to deliver on it and um and i'm i'm learning this whole new client relationship understanding their vision and then trying to produce what they want and what makes them happy so i got those videos coming out and uh i'm just touching base this is monday uh trying to figure a couple things out Tom Brady's going back to the Super Bowl, so, you know, <sighs> New Year's, same story, right? <laughs> oh, man. So, that's my little speech for the day. Uh, I got some more stuff coming. So, be cool, be safe, tie your shoes, and always live your passion. Peace. Um, let me get a number one. Uh, let me get that with the water and uh, throw in a chocolate chip cookie. So I just went to go get some burgers for my boys a little while ago. And um, over here at the Water Burger. And I came around the parking lot and on the back side of this building, I've seen this guy over the last couple weeks, or over the last week. I've never seen him before in my area, but he keeps showing up everywhere I turn, and now he's closer to where I live, and obviously he's homeless, and I don't know, he just tugged on my heart, so I went, I went, brought the food back to my kids, and I came back to Whataburger, and um, the only reason I'm sharing this is not because of what I'm doing, but if you are out there and you did not like 2020, 
then do something different in 2021. There was a lot of fighting, a lot of separation last year, and we need to remember what is important. So I'm going to take a minute and maybe try to bless this man, maybe get his name or something. I don't know. I got to be careful, but if you want to be part of the change, then do something you didn't do last year. And... I don't know. This man tugged on my heart a little while ago, so I want to try to bless him with some food. Good day, sir. 